Hi there. As you might know, Facebook recently released their Llama 2 language model on GitHub. And today I saw this very interesting looking repository in the used by section of this repository. And I've seen this used by section in other repositories as well. And if we take a look at this repository, it is in fact just some bio page of this guy. And what they have done is they have added a go.mod file and they have just required a bunch of packages here. There's like a thousand packages here. In fact, how many packages there are? There are 6,000 packages here. So I guess that this guy is now in the used by section of all those 6,000 packages. And that got me thinking, hey, I also want to be used by Facebook. And I, in fact, have a repository that is using the Llama 2 language model, which is this Llama 2 Flask API, which allows you to create a simple Flask API for Llama 2. So right now I have this running on my EC2 instance here, and I have connected my chat WTF chatbot to this. So if I say hello, this will be sent to the Llama 2 model, and I will get the answer back. So I thought in today's video, I would try to make my repository appear in the used by section of Lava 2. So let's do that. Now, I am not using Go here, but from what I understand, you can also do this with pip packages. Now, I'm not sure if I want to publish my repository as a pip package, but I'm not sure if I even need to, because what I can actually do is I can go to my repository here, and if I edit my requirements.txt, I can add here git plus, and then I can copy the link to the Llama git repository, and I can paste it here. So now I should actually be able to install this API by just running pip install r requirements.txt, which is actually good because currently how I've been using this is I have here the Llama repository, and then I have cloned my repository inside the Llama repository. So I have to go to Llama 2 Flask API. And then here I have to run API. So it would be nice if I could just clone my repository and then pip install our requirements.txt. And if that is in fact enough to get me into the used by section, then that would be amazing. So let's try and do that and see if it actually works. So let's see if I do Python 3 m ven ven to create a virtual environment but i have to install this first then let's try if i can do it that way so if i install a virtual environment and i do source then bin activate then now i shouldn't have any pip packages here so if i try to run my api.py then it should give me an error we don't have Llama. Okay. So what if I now, since I modified my requirements.txt already, if I do pip install r requirements.txt, am I going to install everything and am I just able to run this now after that? Now, it seems like it is in fact installing all the dependencies. Okay, we actually got an error here. Why did we get this error? Invalid command b dist wheel. Aha. Do I have some old version of pip or something. What does this mean? Had to install the wheel package. Aha. Uh -huh. Should I add that in my requirements then? Let's add wheel in here. And let's try to do this again. Okay, we didn't get any errors this time. So let's see if this now works. If we run api.py and I'll set my port to 5050 and we are in fact starting it up. That's pretty cool. And here we have the API running. So now if I go back here and I say tell a joke, then it should tell me a joke. Here's a quick one. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Great. So this in fact made my repository a lot easier to use. So let me in fact publish this change. Now, I don't believe that it will automatically <laughs> get updated to the used by section, but let's see what happens. So if we add these in there, 
git commit m added lala to requirements dot text and i should have set my name in there so i'll fix that and then publish it so let's see if something already happened i don't believe that anything happened yet but we got our commit here and let's see facebook llama not here yet so i wonder what else we have to do so we have it in our requirement now but i guess we need some other files as well let's google this how does the use by section of github work and let's see how to use the use by button how to configure github used by feature let's do github used by for python projects why don't i get any relevant results from google let's ask chat gpt how can i get my python package git repository in the used by section of a github repository that is a dependency of my repo now it might be that this is too recent no it is not okay so i have to create these setup.py and i have requirements.txt okay so setup.py um ensure your python packages repository has proper metadata make sure your python package has a proper setup.py or pyproject.toml file containing metadata such as the package name version and other relevant information huh publish your python package on the python package index okay do i have to really do that but this guy didn't publish anything anywhere he just has go.mod so how does he do it create a github release for your package go to your package's github repository and create a release this release should correspond to the version you've published on pypy that how you say that the repository that is using your package as a dependency needs to reference the specific version of your package in its requirements.txt or setup.py ah so these are instructions if i want someone else's repository to be included in my repositories used by section so i don't need to publish my thing in pypy because llama is already is it actually published in there perhaps so should i in fact add a setup.py as well so if i just do this and i code setup.py then can i just say here that the package is called llama2 flask api and the version is 0 0.001 whatever and what does get requirements do return l strip for l in open path what on earth does this do ah it loops through all the lines in the file that's right okay so it converts the requirements of text into a list of requirements okay so if i do this can i then use that pip install e dot to do this no <laughs> install requires must be a string or list of strings containing valid project version requirement specifiers install requires ah error at plus https so can i just do llama i wonder if i do llama equals equals 0 0.0.1 is there a package like this does it exist in fact it does so is this published on pypy then pypy llama not cpp python okay but this is 0 0.1.1 and this is this is not what we're looking for I believe that that is not going to work so i will not create a setup.py i will only leave it as it was here let's take a look at this repository and actually see how are they requiring the llama model in this file so if i search for llama okay so we have a version number here where does this come from and there's another llama love okay that's a different one so can i use this one and can i do equals equals that and if i then do pip install r requirements.txt no i cannot do that 
So I guess I will leave it at that and I'll get back to you if I in fact get into the used by section of Llama 2. All right, it's been a couple of days now and adding the Llama repository into the requirements.txt file was not enough to get me into the used by section on Llama 2. And I also tried to add a pip file that is used by pip in, but that didn't work either. I got into the used by section of other repositories that are included in the Lama repository because the pip file loaded all those repositories and then GitHub added those as dependencies of my project. But it didn't do it with Lama 2. So I thought it probably works only with the go.mod file. Now, I didn't want to add a go.mod file into my repository because it is not go, so I don't really want to fake my way into the used by section. But then I thought, hey, what if I try to get into the used by section of this guy? So I created another repository called Checkmate Taguchi and I added into the go.mod file his repository. And then I realized, well, maybe it doesn't work on these user repositories that are not packages. So then I added this to-do sorter that he has on his GitHub page. But as you can see, I'm still not added in here. So probably the reason is that this is not a package. So GitHub doesn't realize that my repository should be added in the use by section of this. But in fact, if I go to the insights of my checkmate repository and I go to the dependency graph, then it added this here, but these are not linked. If you go to this repository, in fact, this one, and you go to the insights and you check the dependency graph, then this has all of these in here and they are linked as well. So if I search for Llama, then here we have Facebook research slash Llama, and this is actually linked to the actual repository. But now I, in fact, updated finally my Llama 2 Flask API to include a go.mod file. And in this file, I added require github.com slash Facebook research slash Llama. And in fact, how I did it is I just created a go.mod file with just these two lines. So this is just the URL to my repository and this is the Go version. And then I ran go get and this URL and then it added this extra stuff in the end. And it also created a go.sum file, but I didn't add it into this repository. So if we now go to Facebook research slash Llama and we still have just this Akira Taguchi here, if I refresh this page and I scroll down, then we still have one here. But sometimes if I refresh, I did this just like 10 minutes ago. We still have one here. Let me refresh one more time. We still have one, but let me click on the used by. And look at this. I have my Llama 2 Flask API in here. Now it's not in the front page for some reason. Maybe it only adds alphabetically the first one in the front page. Or maybe I have to wait for a while for it to update. So basically this seems to mean that if you just add a go.mod file to any repository that is a package, then you can get into the use by section of any package. Now, is this a bug? I guess technically it's a way to like abuse this used by section because of course this is not a go package. So how can this be in the used by section based on the go.mod file? Now, let me refresh this page one more time and see if I in fact got into the front page. It says used by two, but I don't get my repository here. But when you actually click on it, then here it is. So this probably should be reported as a bug. So probably from the support, you can add a support request so that they get this actually fixed. Now, I'm not quite sure how you would fix this. I guess you would have to look at like how many times the repository has been cloned or something like this to see if it's an actual repository that is used by people. But I will in fact revert these changes because I don't want to get banned on GitHub. So I'm going to do git reset hard head tilde two. So I should go two commits back if I am correct about that. All right, and I will git push 
force as if nothing ever happened. So if we now go back to my repository and I refresh, then we only have requirements.txt and setup.py. And I'm not sure if I showed this in the previous part already, but by changing the row in the requirements.txt to this format, so we have llama at git plus and then the GitHub repository, and then the commit, and then this egg equals llama, then now it works with pip install r requirements.txt and it works with pip install e dot. So it works with both of those versions. Because if you only add git plus the repository, it will work with pip install r, but it will not work with the setup.py. So you have to have this whole thing for setup.py. But anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. And if you did, then leave me a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, and by the way, I did actually get added to the flask and the wheel GitHub repository in the used by section, but I'm only among hundreds of thousands of people. So if I go here and I search for myself, then here I am because I have wheel in the requirements.tech file. And in fact, when I made the pip file, then it actually added llama into my dependency graph but it added the wrong llama so so there is a package called llama for python but that is not facebook's llama 2 so it added the wrong thing so basically you can add yourself to the used by section of any repository if they have an actual if they have an actual package so perhaps the solution to this problem would be that you only show this kind of thing like when there's more than 10 people using it only then you would show the used by section. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.